Craig, a 4-2 defeat this afternoon at Steel Park. Your initial thoughts on the game? Uh, 20 minutes of madness at the start of the game. Um, let them sort of build on, build on it and get a lot of confidence from it. Um, we spoke before the game about you know coming out and, and being quick out of the blocks and ready to go and that these would be organised and, and work hard and we just to a man today we weren't we weren't at it for whatever reason. It's almost like the game was lost in that opening twenty perhaps, but then towards the end of the, the first half and going into the second it looked looked quite bright. Yeah, I mean obviously once we got the goal back, um, you know, that gives you a bit of confidence and then you know, we scored straight away after the, you know, after the break, and you're thinking, oh, here we go, we're, we're back in it and stuff. But you know, even even then, we were still lacking a little bit of quality and lacking a little bit of energy. We were we were slow to first and second balls. We weren't winning in our personal battles, you know. And you have these games, unfortunately, and you know, maybe it's a bit of a reality check after the you sort of spell that we've been in, where we've you know sort of won 11, well, unbeaten in eleven games. Maybe that's you know it's to come at a good time if there's anything we can take as a positive out of it. And they're still top of the league, albeit now on goal difference and Stanford winning, Spalding winning. I think we said pre-game, it, it's almost cup final day every single week now. Yeah, and it's, um, you know, I just spoke in there and I said, you know, it's, it's, it's come to the point now where it's about bravery and, and, and your, your mental capacity as a player. You know, we know the lads in there can all play, you know, they're all good footballers, but it's, it's how much can you deal with the situation that you're in and, you know, when you're at the top of the league, you're, you're there to be shot at, not not just by the play, the teams that are around you, but teams lower in the league and teams that are looking to, to, to get into that playoff, you know, opportunity and, you know, Corby are not far away, they'll, they'll be pushing for that now and, you know, fair play to Gary, he's got them working really hard, he's got them organised and uh, yeah, they, they've done a number on us for the first 20 minutes and yes, we've got back into it, but we, we probably don't deserve anything out of the game. First sign for the supporters of Chris Cox this afternoon, had a decent performance? Yeah, I think he was, you know, he, he's, he's won his battles first half, he, he, was, he was decent on the ball, I'm not sure about the penalty, I couldn't really see from where I was whether it was or not. Um, you know, but it's clever. It's a clever run from their striker to to, to put Chris under that pressure. Um, you know, he he will need a couple of training sessions. He only trained with us Thursday. You know, to get to know the lads. And you know, obviously we're we're missing massive players in 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 sort of Mazar and Evo today that you know have been with us all season and stuff. So, you know, although he's he's coming in and he's done well, we're still missing two big big personalities around the group. And you know, you take them out of today, and it's uh, it's a difficult one be a case of putting today behind you and moving straight on to Daventry yeah I've just said to the boys in there I said I don't want to hear this no it's done it's, you know there's nothing we can do about it it's not like anybody's going to come up to us and go oh here's, here's a point for your hard work and your endeavour they're not going to do that so the, the game's gone we've got to focus now on Tuesday and Thursday training and, and getting ready for Saturday because if we do let it hang over us it could be three weeks that we're struggling and we don't want that to happen you know we had that you know, where we, we, we lost to Coles and then we lost to Stanford in quick succession, then we had the three draws in quick succession. We can't have that again. We've got to bounce back now straight away. Um, and it'll be about how the players can react from this today because we'll be ready as management. That We know that we've got to come in Tuesday, we've got to be ready, we've got to work out how we're going to play against Daventry and we'll have that plan. That, the lads have got to make sure that they're ready for it. Craig, I won't keep you any longer. Let's, let's get home. Top man. Thanks, man.